so we're going to play here with another quadrilateral. And by the looks of it, it just seems to be a parallelogram. Um, 0.36, 0 0.36, negative 2176, negative 276. But, uh, and if we look at the sides, uh, 107, 368, 107, 368, sides always stay the same. But again, we said we got to analyze things based on sides and angles. So why is this more special than just a parallelogram? Well, let's peek the angles. All the angles are 90. So again, that makes this a special parallelogram. And we call that a rectangle. Sides are the same. Opposite sides are congruent. That's just the property of a parallelogram. Um, opposite sides are parallel. That just makes it the same property as a parallelogram. What distinguishes this is that we have all angles are congruent. Another way of saying that, all angles are 90 because they got to add up to 360 because they're quadrilateral. 360 divided by 4 is 90. The other neat thing about a rectangle is that, look here, segment H and I I just put in. Those are, I'll tell you the other stuff. Too much stuff gets kind of confusing, right? We know all that stuff's happening. H and I, those are the diagonals. They are congruent. No matter what we do, H and I are congruent. So, the, the great thing is if I can make, not only make these two cut each other in half, because again, that's the property of a parallelogram, that the diagonals are congruent. Um, but if I can make them the same size and congruent, well, that's, it. that's the same thing, right? Yeah, okay. Not only if I make them cut each other in half, but also make them the same size. Then we get into a rectangle. Make them cut each other in half, we've got a parallelogram. Make them cut each other in half and be the same size, you got the rectangle. So again, rectangle is rectangle because we've got 90 degree corners. So if you want to make some 90s, you're on your way. And if you want to make diagonals the same and cut each other in half. Again, it's got to do both. Cut each other in half makes it a parallelogram. Make them same size, now makes it a rectangle. Um, and you only have to make three angles 90, because again, a quadrilateral adds up to, to 360. If you got 90 plus 90 plus 90 already made, what does the fourth one have to be? It's got to be 360. So the only new properties for a rectangle, uh, 90 degree corners, all angles are congruent i.e. 90 degrees, and um, the diagonals are congruent too. So, um, and it doesn't look like the diagonals are cutting anything besides each other in half. I mean, are they? Are, is it bisecting this angle up here, cutting this angle in half? No. Um, so, that's, uh, that's a rectangle.